This fucking ballista is stupid. I hate it. It was added at some point. I don't remember. I'm not gonna do research while recording this. But it was added at some point, and I hate it. See, most of my videos involve playing on Frontline, because I absolutely hate playing Invasion. And there's like a hundred different reasons why, but one of them is because players can stand in an area where the other team just can't get to them. And oftentimes that area is advantageous. Can't do that in Frontline for the most part, which is fantastic. Well, it was fantastic until they added this fucking thing. Because it's the same, it, you can't fucking get to it. Look at it. Look, look. Oh, this guy's trying to counter me. Oh no. Wonder what's gonna ha- he died. That's what happened. Oh no. This ballista can basically cover the whole fucking map. You got a nice big ol' slice of the right side of Red's normal area. You have a good nice little view towards the middle of the map. You have some views to some, some areas where players like to congregate. You know, here's a nice little path that players like to travel through. Here's a little spot that archers like to stand on that I have a clear view of. But you know, Blue's point is probably safe, right? It's probably safe. You can't see it. You can't. I'm looking. I don't, I don't see it. I see a little icon. Well, nah, I can still hit him there. I, I can still do it. It's not even really difficult. It's just kind of luck, because I don't know where I'm shooting. You just shoot through this little window here, and you'll probably hit somebody eventually. Oh no, look, this guy's trying to trying to play the game. Well, that, that can't. that's not acceptable. That's not fun. What the fuck is this guy doing? Is he being a friendly? Oh, oh, let me check my KD real quick. Yeah, yeah, it's working. There is a handful of ways to counter this ballista. Now, you can't just charge at it because, you know, it's the death zone. You have to be a little creative. And a Reddit user discovered that you can actually place a fire pit in this location and safely take out the ballista. I've discovered that you can do it on the other side roof thing and it works just as well. It's hard to hit in both situations, but if you do manage it, hey, you took down the ballista. The third option, and the one that most people use, because why would you think about these first two that I said, is that you run at it with a firebomb. The trouble is, uh, the only path to the ballista can be protected by the ballista. So that's stupid. Then you also have the mythical new form of counterplay that is really making the rounds around the community. And this really shows, uh, I would say, the genius, the, the, the flexibility of Mordhau combat. Um, if you are dying to this ballista repeatedly and you're getting a little frustrated, uh, you can do what this fine gentleman does and simply swap teams to red to break the ballista and then go back to blue. Also, if you team kill people, they tend to break your ballista, uh, which is, I mean, just immature. I don't really, I don't think anybody should really resort to that level of childishness and, and pettiness, but that's what, that's just the world we live in. This all begs the question of why was this ballista added to Mountain Pass in the first place? It wasn't initially here, if you remember. Now, the reason why it was added is because of Red's objective. You know that cart? Once it gets to the gate, it's basically game over, because the game's telling you to defend the cart, but that's pointless. This is because the objective's in Mordhau, and let me talk about these goddamn objectives. Alright, so, the cart's right there, up on the top of the map as a red player, I see, oh, oh, I gotta stop that ram. Why am I stopping the ram? Why? Why would I do- what, what's the benefit? The ram doesn't move backwards if red gathers around it and groups up on it. It's, it only goes forward, and... And I have to match the strength that Blue is placing on the cart to stop the cart. If I don't do that, then me attacking the cart is pointless. So Blue always wins this damn objective. The only way to really uh, stop the cart is to take the point that gives Blue the access to the cart. So why the hell is it telling me to stop the cart? And all the objectives are like this. None of them are really defendable in any slight shape or form. Like, oh, I gotta defend this peasant that runs around and doesn't seem to care about my protection. And then he just gets shot with an arrow. Why is the game telling everybody to stop the thing instead of saying, hey, uh, take the point. Don't even waste your time on the thing. Anyway, back to the ballista. Does the ballista help with this objective? And the answer is no. Of course not, why would it? The ballista barely covers the cart at all. And when it actually does cover the cart, you can hide behind it. So that's cool. And the point 
It only covers about half of it, so you don't have to expose yourself to the ballista at all to do this final point. So really, it was only added to be fucking annoying. The only thing it does is pad the KD of the lucky son of a bitch who gets it first. It should be no surprise to me though, because the developers have a kind of history with uh, poopy ballista placements. Let's look at camp, right? Blue side camp. What does this ballista do besides provide red with a method of spawn camping blue? Like, red's ballista is kind of worthless, but it, is, it really isn't a detriment to red ever. It never is. Uh, if blue takes that final point and they're making that little push with the cart, it's in blue's best interest to destroy red's ballista, because if they don't, then red's ballista has a clear line of sight to blue's spawn and exclusively blue spawn. There's really no benefit to blue at all. But blue's ballista on camp, literally, red can just walk up behind them after they take mid, grab on the ballista, and shoot five of their teammates. Then blue breaks their own ballista, and then red just waits a little bit and does it again. Only an ass complains about something without providing a solution. So here's my solution. To fix mountain pass, delete the ballista, and then open red spawn up a little bit. You know, make it so you can kind of leave the base outside of these two choke points. And I'm ignoring the third choke point because it goes directly to blue spawn. Just open these up a little bit. Make some ramps, maybe pile up some snow so red just kind of like can spill over the side of the wall. I don't know, put a ramp up to this little overhang thing so that way it's easier to get onto instead of climbing because that's too complex for most of the community. Most people haven't even found this flank route, so you know that climbing is... Needs to be a little bit more obvious. Maybe you put a ramp or something up to this little spot up here so you can kind of leave that ballista death zone as a method of flanking the point as well. That might also work. And most importantly, change the stupid text up in the top left corner. It should not tell anything about the objective. It should say the objective is... F the card is pointless. Take the point. Stupid. And I think that'll I think that'll get the point across. I'm trying to say Thank you. Oh <laughs> <laughs>